the Muskingum method can calculate diffusion by varying the parameter x. A numerical solution of the linear kinematic wave equation using a third order accurate scheme leads to pure flood hydrograph translation with no diffusion. Other numerical solutions of the linear kinematic wave equation invariably produce a certain amount of numerical diffusion and or dispersion. The routing equations for the Muskingum method and the linear kinematic wave are strikingly similar. Unlike the kinematic wave, the diffusion wave does have the capability to describe physical diffusion. From these propositions, Kunge showed in 1969 that the Muskingum method is a linear kinematic wave solution. Thus, the flood wave attenuation shown by the calculation is due to the numerical diffusion of the scheme itself. To prove this assertion, the kinematic wave equation is discretized on the XT plane in a way that resembles the Muskingum method, that is, in a linear mode and centering the spatial derivatives and off-centering the temporal derivatives by means of the weighting factor x. In which c equal beta v is the kinematic wave celerity. Solving this equation for the unknown discharge leads to the routing equation. The routing coefficients are by defining the travel time k it is confirmed that the linear kinematic wave solution and the Muskingum method are one and the same. This kinematic wave solution is referred to as the Muskingum conge method. The Muskingum parameter k is the flood wave travel time, that is the time it takes a given discharge to travel the reach length delta x with the celerity c. The current number is the ratio of physical celerity to grid celerity. For x equal 0.5 and c equal 1, the third order accurate kinematic wave solution is obtained, that is, the exact solution with no numerical diffusion or dispersion. For x equal 0.5 and c not equal to 1, the second order accurate kinematic wave solution is obtained with numerical dispersion only. For x less than 0.5 and c not equal to 1, the first order accurate kinematic wave solution is obtained with numerical diffusion and dispersion. For x less than 0.5 and c equal to 1, the first order accurate kinematic wave solution is obtained with numerical diffusion only. The numerical properties of the muskingum conch method are summarized in this table. In the muskingum conch method, the numerical diffusion is used to simulate the physical diffusion of the actual flood wave. By expanding the discrete function in Taylor series, the numerical diffusion coefficient of the muskingum scheme is derived. In which nu sub n is the numerical diffusion coefficient of the muskingum conch method. This equation reveals the following. 1. For x equal 0.5, there is no numerical diffusion, although some numerical dispersion remains 
for current numbers other than 1. 2. For x greater than 0.5, the numerical diffusion is negative, that is, numerical amplification, which explains the odd behavior of the Muskinga method for this range of x values. In fact, for x greater than 0.5, the presence of wave oscillations can lead to unrealistic negative outflows. 3. For x less than 0.5, the numerical diffusion is positive. 4. For delta x equal to 0, clearly the trivial case, the numerical diffusion is 0. A predictive equation for x can be obtained by matching the hydraulic diffusivity of the diffusion wave with the numerical diffusion coefficient of the Muskingum scheme. This leads to the following expression for x. Therefore, the routing parameter x can be calculated as a function of the following physical and numerical properties. 1. Reference discharge per unit of width. 2. Bottom slope. 3. Kinematic wave celerity. And 4. Reach length. This equation was obtained by matching diffusivities, a second order process. Thus, it does not account for dispersion, a third order process. Therefore, in order to simulate wave diffusion properly, it is necessary to minimize numerical dispersion by keeping the current number as close to 1 as practicable. A salient feature of the Muskingum Kunch method is its grid independence. This feature sets it apart from other kinematic wave solutions, which feature uncontrolled numerical diffusion and dispersion. If the numerical dispersion is minimized, the calculated outflow hydrograph will be essentially the same, regardless of how many subreaches are used in the computation. The Muskingum Kunch method is expressed in a reduced form by defining the cell Reynolds number as the ratio of physical and numerical diffusivities. Therefore, the Muskingum parameter X is The substitution of Courant and Sol Reynolds numbers into the Muskingum Kunch routing coefficients leads to The calculations can proceed in two ways one, linear mode, and two, nonlinear mode. In the linear mode, the method resembles the Muskingum method with the difference that the routing parameters are based on measurable flow and channel characteristics instead of historical flow data. The computation of the routing parameters is based on suitable reference flow values such as peak flow or average flow. In the nonlinear mode, the routing parameters are allowed to vary with the flow, enabling the modeling of the nonlinear features of flood waves. Assume an inflow hydrograph with peak flow equal 1,000 cubic meters per second, base flow 0 cubic meters per second, bottom slope equal 0 0.000868, peak flow area equal 400 square meters, peak flow top width equal 100 meters, rating exponent beta equal 1.6, reach length equal 14,400 meters, and time interval delta t equal 1 hour. The mean velocity is The wave celerity is The unit width discharge is The current number 
is. The cell Reynolds number is. The routing coefficients are. The routing computations are shown in this table. Column 1 shows the time in hours. Column 2 shows the inflow hydrograph. Columns 3 to 5 show the weighted flows. Column 6 shows the outflow hydrograph. Note that the peak inflow is 1,000 cubic meters per second at time equal 5 hours, while the peak outflow is 963.6 cubic meters per second at time equal 6 hours. The flood peak has attenuated about 3% and the time base has increased to 13 hours. The muskingum conch method is a physically based alternative to the muskingum method. Unlike the muskingum method, where the parameters are calibrated based on streamflow data, that is hydrologic data, in the muskingum conch method, the parameters are based on flow and channel characteristics, that is, hydraulic data. This makes possible channel routing without the need for parameter calibration. More importantly, it makes possible extensive channel routing in ungauged stream networks with a reasonable expectation of accuracy. Like the muskingum method, the muskingum conch method is limited to diffusion waves in natural streams without significant backwater effects. In the muskingum method, the routing parameters are reach averages, reflecting its lumped or storage basis. Conversely, in the muskingum conch method, the routing parameters are evaluated at channel cross sections, reflecting its distributed kinematic wave basis. Thus, for the muskingum conch method to improve on the muskingum method, the cross-sections used in the evaluation must be representative of the reach under consideration. In the nonlinear mode of the muskingum conch method, the parameters are allowed to vary with the flow. Thus, the muskingum conch method can account for the flood wave nonlinearities, which are markedly absent in the muskingum method. The nonlinear muskingum conch method is particularly applicable to the modeling of complex flood flows in large basins.